All right, um, down here by this little creek, um, they're hooking up a apartment complex. Well, I don't know what you'd call this. Um, there's 117 units in here, um, and we've already gone through. Uh, the guys have put in all of the uh, routers, uh, ONUs, um, and right now this is a Comcast uh, place. You can see it right there. Um, and what we did is we went through and uh, set all our ground boxes. This right here just so happens to be about the dead center of this place. Um, and what you'll see is the a flat drop basically goes to every building. There's 14 buildings. So it was not really feasible to bring all the buildings back to the road uh, right on the other side of this forest here, um, which would have been cool, I guess, because I could have put it all into a B. Um, so basically I got seven flat drops and a 24 count. Um, I'm going to take seven of these fibers out of the blue tube and splice them to the blue in each one of these. Not sure what I just heard. Um, but uh, yeah, th this, these can be done this way, uh, putting in the two flat drops into the Comscope A. Um, we were running out. We have boxes of these. And we have boxes of these and we're running out of bees so I'm um, not putting a splitter or anything in here so just figured I'd do it this way so let's go ahead and we'll get into it got a lot of uh, clean cleaning up to do here it sucks all right uh, it is um, starting to thunderstorm I guess so we need to we need to wrap this up and get get home um, we got our uh, seven flat drops in, and the reason that plug is missing is I spent 20 minutes trying to get a flat drop into that sl socket slot. I don't know, it's it's damaged inside or something because um, I tried everything um, I could. I jammed a screwdriver up in there to clean it out, um, to, like to try to make a path for it, you know? Um, but this one just slipped right in. Uh, with no no issues now I don't think um, uh, seven flat drops into this Comscope A it's you know it's not really kosher but uh, it, it, it worked out pretty good um, now what I decided to do let me be very clear uh, we are on private property there is no additional customers it's a very static um, static thing out on the street um, where we're building our backbone I would not uh, I would choose not to do this uh, so don't heat on me too much so what I have to do um, is because I just need sl uh, slack space and I'm gonna have uh, 40 I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna have 77 fibers not doing anything here um, seven times 11 yeah 77 <laughs> I can do math um, I chose to use the first tray in this fashion and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull um, the five fibers I don't use back onto this tray and there is a little I think there's some kind of a bullfrog over here uh, this does allow um, you know a little bit of additional use but this is extremely static um, and you know it's the only reason why I'm landing uh, I guess it's a frog it's a big boy I guess um, it's the only reason why I'm doing this uh, this way I felted all three um, I felted all four and landed them underneath of one uh, slot. Don't need to overcomplicate this. Uh, again, this is not, this is, once this gets sealed up, it'll never get opened again. There's no reason to. Um, so I did this really just to save time and money. Because uh, otherwise, if you did this, like, I don't know, whatever, you can only land three uh, flat drops per tray. So I would end up using uh, a third tray and I'd have to put one of them on the first tray. Uh, so, I don't know. This just seems just fine. Uh, all I gotta do is burn uh, 
all seven of these right quick, and then we're gonna be, uh, we'll be sitting at home in the air conditioning in no time. All right, well, uh, actually, uh, didn't turn out too bad. I mean, um, I did all the splice at the same time. Um, so, to, you know, my measurement on that one is a little off, but I mean, otherwise, uh, that's seven flat drops onto one Tom scope case. I'm fine with it, uh, too, because again, this is a static build. Um, the lady at the, uh, the front desk there, I guess she's like the head person. Uh, she stopped by to see me why I'm, I don't know. She didn't know who I was, just a tent in a damn forest. Um, but she stopped by to tell me that well, not just that, but she told me that they have some pug puppies up at the front desk for sale. So, uh, you better believe it. We're going to stop in and see them before we head home. Uh, I'm just going to basically take the 77 fiber slack. Actually, it's going to be more like 80 fiber slack. Um, and what I've been doing, I've changed my, uh, with the slack, instead of bundling it in one of these, I've just been, going, I've been taking it and going all the way around like that and vice versa um, because it seems to be easier to hide the slack that way also it seems to be easier to get back in it so um, I always try to get my splices in first and then hide my slack so we'll grab one video for that and then we'll go check out some puppies hey now Got all the slack in there that kind of does make it look like a poop but what are you gonna do I mean this is our Princess Anne Pond number two uh, here in this town and you can see that there's just for uh, expansion or slack or boo-boos all right well let me get all cleaned up and we'll go check out the uh, little pugs so uh, how much trash I mean, I, it's just like it's the most obnoxious part of the job I guess uh, but it's very very rare that we get the opportunity uh, on any of these jobs there's like a 5% chance of that oh I love it the best instead of stuffing it all in my trunk and forgetting about it oh boy what do we got going on here little buggies Look at your little buggy. You guys are tiny. Oh my goodness. You guys are so tiny. How are you so tiny? How are you so tiny? Oh. 